All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to clip an image into a shape in Pixlr. So I'm going to come over here to Layers and click the plus icon. Make sure I choose Empty. Then I'm going to go here, click on the Shape tool, pick a shape up here. So I'm just going to pick a circle. All right, I don't want a stroke. And I'm going to come out here and make a circle. Okay, so this is an ellipse. If I hold the shift key, that will constrain it to a circle. All right. Now what I would suggest you do is go ahead and reduce the opacity of that to about 50%. All right. uh, my next step is I got to get an image in there. So I'm going to choose one of the images here. I'm going to choose the cake. I'm just going to drag and drop it in there. I'm going to add it to the current document. And I'm going to make sure that my shape is above the cake layer. Now, the reason I took the transparency down is so I can see um, my image through there so I can position it. So I'm going to click on the cake, go ahead and grab my move tool and move this around to where I want it to be in the finished clipping. So something like that would be good. Okay, now I'm going to click back on the shape layer and I'm going to go to select pixels and that will select all those pixels. All right. And then I go back to the cake layer. I'm going to inverse this selection. Okay. So to inverse, you go command I Command I to inverse the selection, and then you just press the delete key. All right. Now I don't need. I'm going to go Command D to deselect. I don't need this layer anymore, so I can delete that. And now I have that image clipped in there. Then I can move this wherever I want that to go. I can resize it. Notice that that cake went off the page. So if I do move it over here. Right? I got to get rid of this section that was off the page when I initially clipped that. And that's pretty easy to get rid of. All you do is click on that layer, come over here, make a selection right there, press the delete key, and deselect. Alright. Alright. Let's review real quick. So, you add a new layer, empty. Click on the shape tool. This time I'm going to do a heart, no stroke, just a fill. Make your heart, all right? Uh, reduce the opacity to around 50%. Then grab your image, drag it into there, open it up with the current document and then make sure that that heart shape is above there. All right now, what I want to do is I want to move this high into position that I want here. So let's go with something like that. Then I want to click on the shape layer and make a selection of that. So I go to select pixels, go back to the pie layer, Inverse the selection, Command I, press the delete key. Then I don't need the shape layer anymore, so I can delete that. All right, and now I have this that I can move wherever I want to. All right, hope that helps. Now, if you want to add a stroke to that, all you have to do is make sure you're on that layer. Um, under the edit menu, you have stroke right here. All right? And then you can choose the color. So I'll choose, let's choose dark brown. Press OK. And notice you can change the size of that. You can change the opacity of that. Okay. 
So I'm going to apply that. So that's how you would make a stroke to your clipped image.